New at six, a key member of the Biden administration is in South Florida tonight to see the extent of the housing crisis for herself. Housing and Urban Development Secretary Marsha Fudge said the White House is aware of the problem and has allocated billions of dollars to address it. The problem is the relief will not be seen overnight. HUD Secretary Marsha Fudge wanted to see the affordable housing crisis in South Florida firsthand. Her first stop, Lauder Hill Point, a HUD apartment complex for 176 low-income families currently undergoing renovation. It is so different when you are here and you see and you can talk to people and understand what people are feeling and thinking. Uh, it is important to us, it's important to the administration that we address the housing crisis. Meeting with local officials, the secretary was told South Florida is ground zero in the housing crisis. We just saw articles that said only 8% of the actual residents of Broward County can afford the median income for a home, which is around 600000 So that's a huge crisis that we take seriously. The Biden administration has allocated $10 billion for housing grants administered by HUD and has requested $30 billion more dollars. Millions of dollars are headed to Florida, but the relief may not be seen in the short term because of the severity of the housing shortage. There is a shortage. Availability is the issue, uh, and that what housing they can find is so pricey, so expensive, that just maintaining one job, sometimes two jobs, you still can't afford the housing. So the complaint is there needs to be more housing at fair prices. There's a lot of investment that have taken advantage of the market and, and they, they bought the market out and they brought the prices up. Later in the day, Fudge was joined by Congresswoman Federica Wilson and Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava in Liberty City. She toured Liberty Square, a low-income housing project with 600 units already built and another 110 on the drawing board. Well, according to Realtor.com, the Miami-Fort Lauderdale area is the least affordable housing market in the entire country, followed by Orlando and Tampa. The housing crisis is hitting a lot of us in different ways. That's why CBS4 wants your stories to show the crisis you're in or how you navigated the system. We'll highlight these issues and work to get answers and solutions. Send us an email at housing at CBS.com.